Hello folks, welcome. LMDE6 Cinnamon. Filming in 1920 by 1080. Please adjust your YouTube player accordingly, if necessary. So I've been asked several times about, uh, well, I don't want to open up my computer to find out what kind of motherboard. Can I do that? Yeah, you can. Actually, there are several commands for that. Um, you can also generate a report, and I'm going to show you two ways of doing that into a standard text file. And then I'll also show you a graphical uh, application you can install that's been upgraded over the years. And then at the final end, I'll use Terminal to do strip out some personal information. Whether you are uh, working with a friend that is troubleshooting with you, and the question is asked about your motherboard, for instance, or you just want to know this for yourself, if you're shopping for RAM, for instance, it would be nice to know that before you open up that laptop or open up that desktop computer. I sometimes call it a tower computer. In either case, folks, welcome. Filming in 1080. Adjust your YouTube player. Subscription key in the corner. Well over 420 videos and growing. So the first thing I'm going to do is something basic. Right click on the panel. System settings and talk about the very basic command here. System information. And then I'm going to block out the calendar so it's not so busy. Now, by looking at that screen right now, can you tell what kind of motherboard I have? No. However, if I copy this to clipboard, it's not only going to copy this information, but a whole host of other stuff. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to right click on my desktop and create a very simple empty document. And we're going to call that sys info or whatever name you want to give it and hit enter. This uh, is going to be a text file and it doesn't require an extension if you're doing this for Linux. Now, if you're going to send this file to, let's say, uh, someone with a Microsoft system or Mac, then you probably want to add the .txt on it or period .txt. All right, let's compare this file, though. Uh, I know it's kind of small, so what I'm going to do is make that a little bit bigger for you on the fly, holding down the control key while scrolling. Again, I'm using a desktop computer today with a fairly standard keyboard and computer mouse. But again, we could also think about this for laptop information. So we can start with the system itself. We have the Linux kernel and it's being displayed right here also. We have uh, the GCC, which is not being displayed, which is here. For some of you folks, I like to know that. And the cinnamon version is displayed here. What we don't see is this is also the base, it's Debian 12 Bookworm. Again, this is LMDE 6 FE, and it's also being displayed here. Let me go back to the kernel for a second. If you're not familiar with the Linux Mint family of desktops, um, Linux Mint 21 series and 22 series also has an information bar underneath your shield that displays Linux kernels if you click view. So on Linux Mint 21 series and 22, there'll be an extra line in here that says Linux kernels on it. Okay, not in LMDE, in this case, LMDE 6. I just wanted to clarify that. So again, this is a desktop, but you could also look at this as a laptop. So if you're looking for information on your motherboard, it's located right here. This is the manufacturer and this is the model number. Now I'm going to go out on a limb and say some of you folks have never done this. So I'm going to approach it from that angle. Highlight that model number and right click with your computer mouse and hit copy. Then open up your web browser of your choice. It doesn't have to be Firefox. Find yourself a search engine and copy that one more time paste you could also hand type that in but it's a lot easier doing it this way so I could go directly to the manufacturers website to find out all kinds of information on that motherboard maybe if I was looking for extra RAM well it'd be good to know what kind of RAM it fits the speed and all that because you can't just buy any RAM and jam it in there or whatever else you're looking for you can also, if you're looking to replace the board, there's uh, Amazon.com here. Nice, convenient link for you. But more importantly, information on your motherboard. I can do the same with the CPU. If I'm an advanced user and I want to know about the cache on board, there's the L1. 
there's the L2, and this is the L3. Not everybody's cup of tea. Graphics card, what's the model number? It's right here. What am I filming in again? 1080. This is capable of doing 4K though. Audio information, network, Bluetooth. I'll stop and drive for a second. So the total is 1.59 TIB. You could convert that on a web browser, but it's roughly a little over a terabyte. I have an NVMe. That's one of those modern solid state drives. Fits on the bottom of the motherboard. It's made by Western Digital in this case. It even identifies it by the vendor and the model number. So again, it's listed as a one terabyte or 931 GIB. Another drive in here is Time Tech, just to give you an example with a model number. And I'm going to move on. Partition, swap, USB hubs, sensors, and repositories. Where is this stuff coming from? Software. Okay. And the locations of that list. All right. A lot of you folks know that the software comes from LinuxMint.com and also Debian. And if, for you folks that have both uh, LMDE6 and let's say Linux Mint 21.3 or 22, you'll also have this coming from Ubuntu. But this is Debian. All right, down here at the bottom line is the info line. All right, sometimes it's valuable information and sometimes not so much to others. All right, we saved that already. All that came from this little box. There's a second way of doing things. You, know, you open up your Mint menu, type in SYS. System reports, okay? System reports. In here, occasionally you'll get a post-it note depending on what you install to it, add additional libraries sometimes. Or if you went through the welcome screen and you decided to skip over time shift, you'll probably have this nagging you until you either do it or ignore it. But in either case, you should have this. And then below that is your system information, which is identical to that file I just created. And you can also copy it from here. Okay. And right click, create another one. So I have something else installed that has been upgraded over the years. And actually your software manager has two of these and it's called hard info. This is version two. Uh, it's colorized. I don't really care about the background, but anyways, that's default. So um, on version one, the memory part of this would be in KIB format. Not a big deal, but this translates that into GIB format. Again, filming in 1080. The storage devices are listed here. All right. So anyways, one of them is not identified, but the other ones are. Time Tech and Western Digital. Printer is listed in here. Summary, operating system, Linux kernel, that kind of thing. This also has generate report. Now I would probably turn that off if you're just generating a standard report. And then um, you have an option of HTML type or plain text or shell dump. So in here, software manager time, I'm gonna type in hard info. The older one is this one here, and that one has the rating on it. This one does not have any ratings. All right, this has uh, been um, around for a long time. It's a fairly simple install and a quick screenshot, which is an older type of screenshot, but screenshot nonetheless. So um, that one's slightly different from the one I just showed you. Now, if you have this installed and you install hard info too, I believe it overrides this one. So more importantly, there's the screenshot for this one. And uh, I'll also just make mention of the fact I don't see any dates on here. So I'm not sure when this came out. There's no reviews here either. So I'm not sure how old or new this is but I'm used to seeing this one here. And you'll find hard info also installed on some other Linux distributions. And I also find them in their repositories or software centers. So I'm using that one. 
let's uh, go with a hypothetical. You don't want to give this file to someone you're working with. Maybe they are asking you to run INXI info. So I'm going to talk about that, what that command does for some of you folks that are wanting to do terminal centric information. And we're going to copy that info into a text file. Our user for today is LMDE tester. So if you type in MAN, INXI, INXI is also not installed on some Linux distros. It's a command line system information script for console, and it has lots of options the dash something. I'm just showing you a couple of them here. There's a whole litany of information on this. And you can also find information on the internet. So if I type in INXI all by itself, I get very basic info. First of all, you can tell it's installed. Usually if you type M-A-N-I-N-X-I and you get um, info on it, it's normally installed. But you can just type in INXI. CPU kernel and storage. Maybe this is not very useful. So um, this text file I created earlier has repo information. What I'm going to do is generate one without it. Now there are many, many options with INXI and sometimes when you're working with uh, somebody who's troubleshooting with you, may also ask you to use different commands. I'm just going to show you one of my favorites. INXI space dash big F XE. It will uh, strip out personal information, but give me enough information about my system. If I was maybe you want to share that. All right, so let's cover what's what we're looking at here. We're looking at kernel, motherboard, CPU, graphics card, audio, network, Bluetooth, drives, partitions, swap, sensors, and a, a final line. There is no repo information here. So one way you could um, also, if you want, make sure that you highlight everything, you can pull that to the side a little bit, is I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this information here and make a text file out of it. I'm clicking and dragging all the way to the bottom. Just leave the last line, that's fine. Right click and copy that. Then click on, right click on your screen, providing this is in minimize mode, and create an empty document. We'll call this one sysinfo2. And I'm going to open it and do a paste. Right click, paste. Then I'm gonna remove the last line because that's got the name of the user. Maybe that's personal information. And save and close. And then I'm gonna close terminal. So this one again has no repo information. And this one does. What do you wanna do with these files? I would highly suggest you save them for yourself. I'm going to drag a box around these two. If you don't know how to do that, you can also use Control A, depending on what you have on your desktop. But I'm going to right click and cut these after I highlighted both of them. And then I'm going to create a folder. This is useful to have for later on, in case you're shopping for hardware and you want to know all the information about your system. See, I just, I could have also dragged these in here, but I just thought I'd do a cut and paste. So now I have both of these, possibly this one here for sharing, but a lot of times too, maybe the troubleshooter has their favorite INXI command. But nonetheless, this one has full information and this one's kind of a little bit stripped down. And again, you can use this for later on purposes. So uh, let's say, couple months from now you decide hey I want to add some RAM to my machine let me grab a hold of that motherboard information and we will open up a web browser and we'll do a search for that and then that way I can find out more details about my motherboard so if it is a laptop maybe it's not upgradable or what type of RAM for that motherboard because not all RAM is the same or whatever you're shopping for in either case, folks, hopefully you found this information helpful, and uh, thank you for watching.